Taiwan conducted a military drill in late July, boosting its defense against increasing threats from China. Amid increasing tension between the island and Beijing, Taiwan Vice President and Presidential Candidate William Lai is set to stop over in New York on Saturday before heading to Paraguay. He will return through San Francisco on August 16th. From the United States perspective, our One China policy has not changed, uh, continues to be our policy. And with respect to uh, his transit, such transits have happened uh, numerous times, going back m- decades over multiple administrations, and there's nothing out of the ordinary about them. Washington has reasons for keeping lies transit low-key, according to analysts. Taiwan and the United States, they don't want to provoke any kind of Chinese escalation, but they do want to maintain their regular contacts amongst you know, they're close partners for military and economic purposes. Another important factor is that the U.S. doesn't want to be seen as interfering in the upcoming Taiwanese elections. In Beijing, China protested, opposing any official interaction between Taiwan and the United States. China claims sovereignty over Taiwan, which is rejected by the self-ruled democracy. The Beijing government has never ruled Taiwan but fails to bring the island under its control, even by force. Meanwhile, the U.S. is keeping its communication open with China to avoid miscalculation. U.S. officials said they expect Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi to travel to the United States and conduct a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Wang will attend the United Nations General Assembly in September in New York. Lai Keqin, VN News, Washington.